this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Dark and Linux 3.2 World of Warcraft Private Server. Let's start off by opening up the Dark and Linux folder. If you haven't installed a private server before, you should start with the uh, requirements. So we're going to click on the requirements folder. We are going to run Microsoft.NET Framework. This can take a couple of minutes, so I'm just going to jump ahead. Once it's finished, we're going to go back to the main folder, and we're going to start ReaperX Installer. We're going to right-click it and run as administrator. Our first step is to enter the appropriate information. We need to enter our MySQL username, our MySQL password, our MySQL address, the location of MySQL, and the location of World of Warcraft. If you do not know what your MySQL password is and your username, just leave it because this is the default. Same thing with the address. If you do not know the location of MySQL, also leave this because this is the default. The location of World of Warcraft can vary, but this is also the default location. So if you don't know where it is, search for it or just leave it as a default and hopefully it'll work. Once you've filled in the information, click the green button to save all your settings. The next step is to see if our MySQL server is running. So we're going to click on the server button. As you can see, MySQL is off. So we are going to click the blue start button to start MySQL. It can take a couple of seconds, then hit the refresh button. Now it's on. So now we can go back. So now we can install the database. We have two options. We can install the entire database or just the world database. If you're upgrading from a previous Dark and Linux repack, click the install world button. This will remove your world database and replace it with a new one. You will not lose your characters. But for this tutorial, we're going to install the entire database. So click the blue install button. A black box will pop up saying it is installing. Dark and Linux installer will become unresponsive, but don't worry. It's only checking to see if the black box has finished, so just leave the installer. If you exit the black box at any moment, you need to reinstall it. This can take two to three minutes, so I'm going to jump ahead. Okay, right, so it's done. The next step is to click Create Maps. Make sure you fill in the proper location of World of Warcraft. We're going to click the blue AD button first. This is going to create our first set of maps. A black box will appear. You'll notice that Dark and Linux installer will become unresponsive. Once again, don't worry. This process can take two to four hours depending on your computer's processing speed. So I'm going to jump ahead. Okay, it's done. Now we're going to click on the red V map button. This is going to create our second set of maps. Once again, a black box will appear. Dark and Linux will become unresponsive again. Just leave it. This will also take two to three hours depending on your computer's processing speed. So I'm going to jump ahead. Okay, it's finished. If you exit any of the black boxes, you will need to recreate that map because the installer will exit when it's finished, so you do not have to touch anything. Okay, so now we're going to go back. Our next step is to set World of Warcraft to connect to our server. We're going to click the Set Realm List. This will set the World of Warcraft's realm list to our server address. Okay. The next step is to create an account to log in. The first bar is to fill in the username. You can enter whatever you'd like. I'm going to leave it as admin. The second bar is to fill in the password. So create whatever password you'd like. You have an option of the access level. You can access the server as a player, as a GM, or as an admin. You can also change the expansion. Classic, Burning Crusade, or Wrath Lich King. We're going to click the create button and it's been successful. Awesome. Now we're going to go back.
This next step allows you to be creative. So we're going to click on this button right here. Here we can change the starting level to whatever you'd like. I'm going to go to 80. You can have max level. I'm going to leave it at 80. You can increase the epic drop rate. I'm going to increase that to max. You can change the XP rate for kills. I'm going to leave it since you can't level. You can also increase the XP gain for quests. I'm going to leave that too. You can also increase the legendary drop rate. I'm going to increase that to max. I'm going to change my server to a PvP realm. And here you can enter the name of your realm. Here you can enter the message of the day. Whenever someone logs in, that message will pop up. And then click configure. Okay, okay. Now we go back. If you hit the green button now to save, your realm, message of the day, and all your configuration options will go back to default. If you don't know any jam commands, click the jam commands button. This will bring you to Reaper's website, where it has a list of jam commands. So you can scroll through all the different commands you can use. There's a lot of them. If you click on the home button, it will go to Reaper's website. If you click on tutorial, it will bring you to this video. We're going to go back. Now everything's ready to go. We're going to click on the server button. And you can see that our world server is not running, or our realm server is not running. So we're going to click start black box will pop up. As you can see our realm is now running. We're going to click the blue start button to start our world server. This one takes slightly longer to load. I'm going to jump ahead. Okay, so it's finished. You see they're all on. If any of the black boxes pops up and then closes really quickly, that means the server was not installed properly. So now you're set to play. Click the play button, and you're good to go. This is going to see level 80. Death Knight. In order to stop the servers, we just click the stop button. And the stop button. And we're good to go. Thanks for watching my uh, tutorial.